another video. Cyborg difficulty six. Nothing else. It's more difficult in the list, so. Let's see if we were really defending anything or not. I, I'm falling into a really poor habit of not looking at the objectives when I'm joining a game, which I kind of regret. I don't even know. I guess one defensive item is still good because I still we still have to extract. So. Nope. Always gotta watch for people joining your game. They remember me. Oh, man, I messed up the arrow sequence. That's unfortunate. We're on the move, so I don't want to call anything in yet. When we get to the artillery and we disable the console, then I will call in my resupply pack, but now's not the time. Oh, that's bad. I didn't know he was actually going to call in a nuke either. Oh boy. This is bad. If you could just move over and get me on the screen, I won't die. Should be one more dog up here. Off the dogs. Aim for that belly of the Hulk. As you can see, the Punisher can go through a lot of ammunition. Taking my time with my shots to make them count. can pick up an ammo box. Actually, I'll pick up a couple of them because we won't be back here again. So I did have some waste there, but if we're not coming back, then it'd be more wasteful not to take them. This person doesn't have boots on, so I'm going to take my time and cover them if I can. Punisher has really good range and a, and high damage, especially if you land all of the buckshot within the within your shots. All of those little pellets. I'm taking my time to make sure every shot's effective.
think I was hitting the shield a little bit there. I do hesitate a little bit between shots, not necessarily on the Punisher, but on other weapons as well, just to readjust my aim if I have to. they spawned right behind us within sight of me I'm gonna cover this guy the best I can while we make our way to extraction let's get the turret in time by that trident player there. If you ever have trouble actually landing your shots, like for example, if you're using the camper, if you're using the railgun, the punisher, or even just like, uh, just like you just want to be really efficient with your ammunition, even if you have something like a knight or something like a patriot. Um, when I'm aiming, I do take a half a second or even a whole second just to look at my character and see if the barrel of my weapon lines up with my target. I don't even necessarily look at the target. I'm actually looking more at my hell diver. Uh, so if you have trouble aiming, I would recommend focusing less on the enemy or less on your target and more on your hell diver. Look at the gun, use your peripheral vision with the enemy, see if it lines up, and then shoot line up that barrel and then you can be uh, you can really increase your accuracy I, I feel if you use that method instead I don't find myself looking at the enemy very often or my target very often I don't know if this player will be doing another round or not We did fairly well on difficulty 6 together. I don't know how well we'll fare on difficulty 9 together. Remember, we're at Cyristan, so it's the final planet for this race, so the difficulty increases in increments of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, so they're going to keep it at 6. I think after this I'll find another game that is a little bit more difficult, that has more going on, that increases chances of people, including myself, making mistakes that I can call out and that we can all learn from, refine my my play. Uh, I might actually do the railgun approach here. Uh, this individual is still using the auto injector on a snow planet. They might not have boots, which is fine, so I'm going to switch it up to something else. Uh, I don't feel like I had a lot of use with the Rep 80. So, 
game's about to start, so when we land into the ground, the first thing I should be doing is taking out my radar to check for any potential spawn points of patrols. Secure the area. Try not to be too uh, married to my radio, I perhaps should say. Okay, so I do have time to call in some items. Stand by. Equipment, equipment on its way. Stand by. I have one equipment patrol on top way. left that will probably come closer because of the beacons. We have another possible spawn point bottom left. Yes, yeah, so that's these two here. So with the handgun, if I have a secondary item that I can actually take out, I have to hold down my weapon change button to bring it out. If I just tap my weapon change button, then my primary weapon comes out. So I have to be mindful of that when switching between weapons, or in this case, my utility item. I'm using the rail gun, so my primary weapon should be my handgun in this case. The rail gun only comes out when the alarm is sounded. And I don't want to waste my ammunition on soft targets. I want to use it on medium to high armored enemies. So in this case, with difficulty 6, it'll be all the medium armor en enemies and then the hulks that fall from the sky. The Trident user took ammo out of the bag, so that's actually quite an efficient use of ammo. If you have a Trident, you don't need ammo. So for them to take ammo didn't really make sense to me. Hoping they shoot him. That's a shame. I was hoping that he would actually shoot the Hulk more than what he did. Alright, we'll have to try again. Okay, they had a nuke the whole time. I think I'm far enough away. Didn't switch to it immediately like I could have if I held down the change button, the weapon change. Helldiver deploying to combat Always stare zone. at your character when someone joins the game so they don't land on your head. I do hear a patrol here, so I feel like I'm going to set them off. Yeah. Helldiver has left that patrol scared me. Helldiver has left combat zone. I don't know why you would throw me over there. When I call people in, I tend to throw people back on top of their belongings so that they can just get them real quick. Okay, so I need to find the third bomb. Third ordinance. Okay. Okay. 
managed to stun both of them with that one shot there. I want to cover him the best I can while he backpedals a bit. So I'm taking out the rail the rail gun here. Give my turret time to kill him. things you should be upgrading if you don't know already is the handgun. I'm not sure what ASMR means. Always sure. No. Always ASMR. No idea. There were a, like a few videos back someone else typed out an acronym and I didn't figure it out. And then I think someone in the comments section wrote what what it was. I don't know what ASMR is. If you know what ASMR is, um, maybe put it in the comment section so I can just read it or I can just look it up. I don't know what ASMR is. This is Helldivers. I can't think of what acronym applies to Helldivers. That's ASMR. I don't know if they're going to increase the difficulty or keep it the way it is. Um, but I should go back to my ship and then see what else is out there. Something of higher difficulty, like this one. I think this is a difficulty... Oh, you know what? I didn't look at the objectives again. Oh, that's horrible. Cyborg, difficulty 7. So, we're going to need anti-tank. There is a decent probability that there isn't enough anti-tank on the team, as it's one of the things that's completely ignored when the game is played. Uh, so, Scorcher to help control with uh, the numbers, the number of enemies with the high damage area of effect. Um, recall this rifle. I'm going to actually get more ammunition uh, for the team as well as myself. And then for something defensive, maybe something like a rail cannon I'll try again. Hopefully we are doing assisted reloads. I don't think I've ever recorded assisted reloads, but it's really hard to get someone to help you with that. Okay. I'm reading the situation first before I do anything else. It looks like we're on the move, so good thing I didn't call on my stuff. It wouldn't make sense to. I'm going to call in my items now. Trying to do the objective.
Okay, the objective is done. I'm not gonna waste my recoilless rifle rocket on hulks when I can just shoot them. I think I hit the mountain there with my scorcher. Not sure why we're running. I think they're leaving behind equipment. Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. I also don't think they're calling in their friend. I don't know why they're just running. Accepted. I also need to reload. Reloading. There's a bunch of things we have to do, but we're moving. I don't know why. They should really get their stuff. Yeah, there's definitely stuff left behind, signified by the yellow dots. I am all about moving, but if you're leaving behind equipment, then you're wasting stratagems. I'm not even sure why we're running in the corner. Is it for samples? It's not recommended to leave equipment behind. Like I said before, you're kind of like wasting your stratagems and you might actually need it for like anti-tank and stuff. I'm not really sure why we ran the way we did. It's obviously not for samples, but we're not going for them. We missed samples back there, so... I'm trying to understand like the thought process here. I guess we are just going to the launch pad. I'm going to call in what defenses I have available. I'm not going to pick him up. I'm going to reload my recoilless rifle because we don't really have reliable anti-tank right now. We have eats on the ground, but it's important Dropping to have equipment. anti tank available. Supplies incoming. They just wasted that stratagem. So I'm gonna stay by the launch pad. I'm primarily gonna be using the recoilless rifle against the tanks. But if hulks get close enough, I might have to just use a round on on them as well. Let's watch out for the cone of bullets. Do need ammunition. The rail cannon does seem to be helping a bit. Extraction's bottom right. So I'm actually going to reload and then grab bo uh, the box of ammo before we go. I have two magazines left, so grabbing one should give me six. Maximum number of magazines for the Scorcher is eight. So I can keep that in mind and be efficient with my ammo. I do want to reload my recoilless as soon as I can. And I have boots that will allow me to get away from the enemy. For the belly. The Scorcher does really high AoE damage, so I'm able to take out the Hulks quick. Rail Cannon self cooldown, so I'm going to use that now. Always watch for stratagems falling from the sky. Tank top right. I think there's a tank up here. It keeps shooting. If the real cannon keeps shooting a target without killing it, then it's got to be a tank. One of those IFBs. 
Take top right. Dropping the blood. Take top left. I'm gonna let them shoot it. my recoil list before I had to uh, get away from the shuttle. We should all be able to get on the shuttle. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Oh, okay. Shooting his handgun for no reason. So I think my item choices going into the game was sound. Pretty smart. Um, Anti-tank always bring anti-tank. Um, everyone should have at least one stratagem that's around anti-tank. And uh, no one else was doing assisted reloads. No one else had the support kit. It's hard to find someone to cooperate with that. But also, I'm not really talking to anyone, so it's partially my fault. Um, the game felt pretty good. We were on the move. There was some like navigational error there. After we did the SAM site, we went to the top corner. I'm not sure why we did that. We left some stuff behind. Um, we could have just fought through it, I think, or, you know, fought through it to actually get our stuff back, but all in all, it still went okay. Uh, we have one more mission on this planet. I think I'm going to keep the items I have. I need two ammo stratagems for my Scorcher, because I go through a lot of ammo to deal with crowds. And then, uh, I think the Rail Cannon turret actually played a good part in this, taking down the Hulks. It does high damage, so we all have boots on. Um, okay, so most of us have anti-tank. Uh, one has a lot of the air support, two air support stratagems, which is fine. Uh, and then uh, this other player has a demolisher and two eats. So we do have like substantive, I would say, anti-tank. I have to be very careful with the Scorcher. If you're using the Scorcher against the Cyborgs uh, to do like high AoE damage, area of effect damage, you have to be very careful, especially with the Suppressor as, as well, I should say. You have to be very careful with those dogs. If the dogs get in your face, you can't shoot. Um, that's even more, the case, more so the case with the Scorcher. With the Suppressor, it has the Bayonet at the end. It does AoE damage, but not damage over time, whereas the Scorcher does damage over time and area of effect. Um, but it has no bayonet, so you have to be very careful. So, uh, the game's about to start. First step is to take out your radar, check for patrols. You don't want to take out your radio and start calling stuff in yet. I can already see there are patrols here. Get the ones that sound the alarm first. Secure the area. I do hear an engine or something, I think, so there's a tank here. I want to get my recoilless rifle as soon as possible now. We already started the convoy, so we have to keep up with it. I'll cover the best I can, but we have to keep up. I'll try to stop the convoy. I have to reload now as soon as I can. We're going to have to get them off the convoy. We don't have enough. It's, it doesn't seem like we are calling in our anti-tank stratagems. Just have to keep keep reloading the best I can. Equipment on its way. Actually, I'm gonna have to, have to reload off the track so I don't stop the convoy. The worst thing you can do is stop the convoy. It's gotta get picked up. We're nearing the end. Get some ammo out, because I'm going to need it. I have three magazines left. By the time the convoy gets in there, I'll have the ammo. Okay, we have to go to our next objective, which is top left, I feel. 
Watch out for the cone of bullets from the Hulk. Pick up your friends. Okay, I'll just pick them up then if the other player doesn't want to do it. Can't shoot because the dogs are too close to me. Let's be careful of that. I'm not sure where we're going. We have to go left. I don't know why we're going this way. We could have just went left. We do have to go left here. Try to keep doing the objective. There's an objective up there at the top that no one's doing. I don't know why they're not doing the objective. I guess I'll do it. I feel like there's a lack of attention to the objective in many of the games that I play. And I'm sure many of the games that you guys play, you, you guys hopefully know to do the objective and notice that some other play, well, most other players just aren't very attentive to the objective. Dropping equipment. Seems Repeat. that player is having trouble. So that's a stratagem that we shouldn't really be leaving behind. That was me not watching myself. Instead of calling me in, he just grabs his own item, which I kind of disagree with. You should call your friend in immediately. Defense drop incoming. Okay, so it seems that person grabbed the artillery shell and helped me with that. To continue to move the objective forward. We have two shells on the right side that we have to get to. We have a player dead that no one else is calling in, so I'll just do it. I won't be able to get to the artillery, so I'll just back off a bit. That player is not moving. I didn't even see that bomb there. That oh. I don't know why he stabbed me. I think we're making all so many poor decisions. I don't know why I was stabbed. We're running very far away from where we have to go. They have plenty of time to call us in too. Request acknowledged. Dropping equipment. Just shot his own friend there. I had to stop shooting there because he ran in front of me to grab an eat instead of waiting for me to finish shooting or to actually maybe help me shoot the opponent. But he ran beyond me to grab the eat there, and that was incorrect. I felt like I was the only one fighting all those people there. Defense drop incoming. Okay, so I finished the objective and now we have to go bottom right. The alarm was sound, but we all I know we all have all-terrain boots on, so we should be able to run beyond this. Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. Reloading. I guess I'm, I'm actually not going to reload until we get to extraction. I don't see any patrols in our way, so... 
I'm going to call the shuttle in first and then reload immediately. I want to get the rail cannon against that rock formation up there. I'm going to call in some ammo after I reload. Should be able to kill that tank with the eat. The exosuit has about half cannon left, half cannon ammo. So it's almost out of cannon ammo. We should all be able to get on the shuttle. So I'm going to get on. And that will conclude the planet. Uh, so a lot of positional mistakes, a lot of... Um, a lot of errors in decision making. Uh, like just not doing the objective or not even fighting. Like I feel like if you're not doing the objective and you're also not fighting the enemy, I'm not sure like what you would be doing then as a player. I, I think there were like a couple, maybe three instances where it seems like half the group, or even three players, uh, were not fighting, and they were also not doing the objective. So that's really not a, a good way to contribute toward the ultimate goal of completing the mission. Um, even, like, there were even some navigational mistakes, like twice, I think. Twice there were navigational mistakes, the way that we broke away from, uh, from an objective after completing it or from a fight, like, the direction that we were running in didn't, to me, make any sense. And, uh, I think a lot of times I felt alone in the objectives. And a lot of delay in reinforcing your team. If you have someone dead, um, it should be a higher priority to actually call them back in again. You don't want to have your friends dead for a long time. You need to get them back in. I think there were moments where players had enough time to bring out the radio, do the arrow sequence for the reinforced stratagem, and then throw the beacon. I'm going to have to watch the recording on that, but I'm very confident in that statement. So let's wait and see what he chooses. I don't know if we're going to do something with the same difficulty or... If I have to move on to a different shuttle, or, or ship, I should say. Different different game. Okay, so we have a black box, we have a defense, artillery... So this is a difficulty six planet, so there's going to be uh, 
less pressure on us uh, to create mistakes, and uh, I guess consequently there will be less for me to call out on. There's only two of us too, so the game adjusts to the number of players that you have as well in difficulty, not just the planet that you choose. So with two of us on difficulty six, there's going to be less going on. I don't think I need the recordless rifle on difficulty six, so I'll keep it. Uh, keep it. Um, keep it with the resupply pack. I don't think I need two turrets either. Arti we have to blow up artillery, so I can just do that with the hell bomb. I like what I have. I feel. Oh, he was waiting for me. Thanks for waiting. Oh, it didn't, didn't work. It didn't go when I hit enter. So hopefully in that last game I played, uh, there was a lot to take in there. to first identify patrols and see what's out there if I have time to even call in my belongings. It's just a resupply pack, so... Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. A lot on the right side. Deploying ordnance. That's not really going to hit much of anything, except for a couple dogs. us, but frankly the Hulk moves so slow that we can just ignore him. Dodge that Hulk explosion. Dive on the ground. I was on the edge of the blast radius there. Now we are going to go to the truth transmitter. So everything has been going smoothly. I think we're running a little bit too far to the right, but here we are. Oh, I guess he's Defense not doing incoming. the truth transmitter. All right, I will do it. All right, down there. To be careful with my defensive item here with the rail cannon turret because it can kill the launch pad if it shoots the projectile close to it or even on top of it. So I'm actually going to call in my rail cannon turret behind the missile. Or at least try to get it in a way where it can't really hit the missile. to minimize that risk. I probably could have actually thrown it behind a rock structure. But it actually seems to still be finding enemies.
that belly. Is actually low enough on ammo where they can take ammo out of my bag and be completely efficient with it. Defensive stratagem incoming. They have two magazines. I think maximum on that is eight. So if they take it, they should get four magazines. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute thirty seconds. My rail cannon turret is off cooldown. Deploying defensive assets. Reload. So when he took out amount of ammo out of my bag, I think he got five magazines out of that. So I guess suppressor, the maximum number of magazines you can carry for the suppressor is ten. Shots. He just took more ammo out of the bag. Shall be able to get on the ship here. The shuttle. The other player wasn't very patient in between shots, uh, so they really weren't aiming that well, in my opinion. They were kind of just shooting as fast as they could in a general direction. Uh, and with the suppressor, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure your shots are landing. The suppressor can go through a lot of ammunition, so if you're not trying to land your shots, then you're just going to go through a lot of ammunition with very minimal effect. I'm actually going to quit this game. I want to see what else is out there, what other games we could play and, and learn from. And I can continue to analyze my own play and always trying to be effective and efficient to get those stars even though I'm 50 it doesn't matter I just like to play the game as effectively as possible so I have another very challenging I have a couple very challenging I'm gonna choose the top one here because I'm assuming it's an SOS beacon Cyborg difficulty 6, so let's change my weapon. Kinda, I kind of want to go back to the Punisher, but I will not. Actually, let's do the Suppressor. Supplies incoming. Uh. Read the situation. I see the objective's not being done, so I'll do the objective. That's very important. And while that's happening, I will call in my resupply pack. This player is a level 9 player, so they're trying to do a difficulty 6, and I'm sure they got tired with doing difficulty 3. Remember, we're on Cyberstand, so it increases 
difficulty increases in increments by three, so they couldn't do it for five planet. close to me, so I had to stab him to the objective. two ammunition stratagems, which I think makes some sense, because they do have uh, a lot of shooting to do when they're by themselves. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Defensive equipment inbound. I did not see them spawn in. When I get down the static field, right where the alarm was. Be careful not to stab my friend. Like in the last game when I got stabbed. Gotta be careful with that bayonet. to make sure my shots count. Could actually just stab them instead. So much of the mission was already done when I joined, but uh, despite them being only level 9, they uh, they seem to play pretty well. Their aiming was pretty good, they're shooting relatively quick, but um, that rifle that they were using allows you to do that. I don't think it has any type of recoil effect at all. I think it always shoots straight, even if you mash the shoot button. But they... Had it handled. But the first thing I did was read the situation upon landing in that pod. Read the situation. Don't take your radio out. Um, clear out patrols, of course. If they're doing the objective, help them with it. If they're not doing the objective, help them with it. So in that case, uh, I noticed the objective was not being done. So I, I did it immediately. And then called in my equipment while waiting for the objective to go through the timer. I repeat, crew to stations. So let's see where he puts us. I think that's uh, a rational location to land in, seeing where all the objectives were. We do have to defend a geological survey. I don't like the rail cannon for that, but because um, a rail cannon can kill the survey in one hit or two hits. Uh, unless I put it in a location where I can't possibly shoot it. Uh, he actually reset the timer for me, for me to give me more time to choose my stuff, so... I said thanks. So we're gonna land into the, into the mission. First step is to open up my radar, check for patrols, those possible spawn points, those red dots. Remember the red dots uh, does not necessarily mean the patrols are there. Uh, 
Supplies incoming. And I actually just made a mistake by taking out my Nearby. radio. Oh, Equipment oh. On its way. Okay. I can't multitask. I can't drink coffee and then also play this game. I should probably stop drinking coffee. know if he's, uh, actually, I can ask him if we can do assisted reloads. Actually, assisted reloads here would be great. You can imagine with the artillery as well as the tanks that we would have to fight, um, any overlords that would come in on this particular mission here, assisted reloads would be great. I have an extra player in the game that I have to drop out. I'm going to need something with high damage to control uh, the amount of hulks that fall down. Um, extra ammo. This is kind of like my go-to stratagem lineup with the two ammunition. You need something that does a lot of damage in higher levels. Especially when your teammates don't have anything in high damage. Like the Paragon, I don't think it's going to be very appropriate for difficulty 9. Although they expect they have experience in the game. So... I guess on, on higher difficulty cyborgs, they use the Paragon. I just don't know how you deal with the high numbers, though, with high hit points, like Hulks. Hulks have such high hit points, and they can spawn in, like, up to four or five. So I don't know how you can handle all of that with a Paragon, but... Unless he uses the Paragon just for control, like the slow debuff, and then moves on. on its way. Like just Stand keeps by. moving, doesn't it fight, just slows him down, away. and then keeps moving. Freedom. So he said he would actually wear the support kit. I didn't even check my radar when we came in, so I just made a mistake there. Should have been checking the radar. Hopefully he reloads me. We can continue on our way here. You can see how easy this is. So the alarm was sounded. I failed to kill the patrol in time. I don't think that, that guy was that close to me. Take ammunition. So we're gonna keep keep moving. No! Those guys are definitely bullet sponges. quick you can actually take down artillery the assisted reload next objective would be probably left side launch pad hell diver deploying to combat zone always stare at your character when someone joins the game So we do have a launch pad and uh, and then probably the black box. So with the launch pad I want to get my rail cannon in a position where it can't possibly shoot the rocket. Because that would be terrible. Equipment 
Hoping the tank gets stuck there. I uh, guess not. The tank is disabled, so I'm kind of hesitant in even killing it. I guess I have to. Remember, when a tank is disabled, it's not dead. If it's not dead, then another one won't spawn. So if you are not threatened by where the tank is disabled, then you don't need to kill it. Always stare at your character when someone joins, so you can dodge them. to search for the black box. So that, that defense was okay. I guess they caught the fire debuff when I shot there. The assisted reloads have been really working out. Really, really beneficial. As they should be, but assistive reloads are incredible. One player wears the support kit, the other player does the recoilless rifle or the commando. As you can see, the commando takes out patrols very well, very easily. The double freedom doesn't really do that very well against the cyborgs. Had to dodge that. Now this tank is disabled. I think I do have to kill it, but... I'm wondering if we can actually do the objective without killing it. No, I guess not. This player is really reloading well. Keep the objective moving if we can here. Looks like someone else has a support kit now with the commando, so that's another way of reloading each other. Anyone with a support kit can reload another person with a recoilless rifle or a commando. Okay, that didn't die. The rumbler and the commando can actually kill a tank from behind. not anti-tank. So shooting a tank with a rumbler is only effective from behind, so if that's, if you can't get behind the tank with it, then you shouldn't be shooting it. Wow, uh, we are falling like flies. I used my reinforce already, so hopefully they will call in the fourth member of our group. And it seems like they will not be doing that. So I have to wait for my reinforce to get off cooldown. You guys have to call in our other player. Seems like they don't want to call him in, so I guess I'll do it. So the person that actually reloads me, he was in the, he 
He was about actually the person reloading me was going to get in that bastion. That would have been terrible for me, but thankfully they reloaded me. I think we can all get in the shuttle. I don't know why this guy's not getting in the shuttle. What's kind of scary about not getting in the shuttle is that if you have units that end up spawning um, where the doorway is to the shuttle, like they could effectively block you from getting in the shuttle, especially if the alarm was sounded. Like if, you can imagine like if a tank spawned right at the doorway of the shuttle, um, you'd have to run around and then go to the other side. And it's, it can, you know, if you can get on the shuttle, just get on the shuttle, is what I'm thinking. I think we can try one more. This might be a, a, a long recording, but... We can do one more. Uh, crew to stations. Hopefully, I repeat, crew to stations. Hopefully, that player will do another assisted reload with me, uh, just to demonstrate to you guys um, how assisted reload works. Again, no! so again, we have two defense points, two launch pads, and we have two artilleries. So, assisted reload would be good here to defend the rockets and to kill the artilleries. I feel like I have to keep the Scorcher here because we're using a double freedom which can't kill the patrols in time before they sound the alarm. The Patriot could. The real the real gun is a really poor choice in general. I guess it I guess it could kill the patrols in time, but it, it shoots so slow, so I'm gonna say no it can't. So I feel like I have to keep the Scorcher. Now if other players had weapons that like such as like the suppressor or the scorcher. Uh, that could kill patrols in time before sounding the alarm, then I could do something like the knight, or uh, like a one-handed weapon, like uh, the ninja, maybe. I like one-handed weapons for their benefits. Supplies Checking the radar first. Standby. I must, uh, well, now I definitely need to call in my stuff. That tank is going to really murder us. We don't have any anti-tank in place yet. Definitely need to pick up. I need to get him up. So we are in a tight spot here. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. Trying to keep my awareness up while we are struggling. Call in your friends as soon as possible. I have to reload myself now. So it looks like we're not doing assisted reload unless the person with the commando at the end there. Oh, wow. Unless whoever picks up that commando can assist and reload me. I can't call anyone in yet, so I might as well reload. Now I can. equipment or not. doesn't look like we did. So I don't have any assisted reloads, unless that 2% corrupted player knows how to do it, but 
or is even aware of doing it. Get my rail cannon up. The emplacement provides a lot of anti-tank, so that's very nice to have. move to this side then if they want to take my spot. Pretty effective here. So, destroying the artillery quickly probably won't happen unless the person with the commando and the, and the support kit knows to reload me. You can't kill the artillery with the commando, but you can use it to kill bug nests. Hopefully, he knows to reload me. I'm standing next to him. I guess he doesn't. Doesn't seem like he's reloading me. We're gonna have to disable the panel here. Uh-oh. That was bad. If I didn't make that mistake with the arrows, then they would be called back in by now. Just gonna help clear the area. Hide from the bullets. I still have to reload my recoilless. I'm trying to see if this guy will reload me again. And I don't think he's aware that I need to be reloaded. I don't think he's paying attention to the red icon that's in my player box, so I'm just going to reload. And I guess we are moving on to the next artillery. Hopefully he knows now to reload me. He is not reloading me. He's not reloading me, so... I don't know why our player killed himself. Hopefully they know that you can't kill the artillery with the commando. I'll just keep reloading myself. You can kill the artillery with a rumbler, but you have to have your shots land just next to the artillery, not on top of it. The next one is the launch pad. It is disabled. Actually, if we can keep it disabled, that would be awesome. It's just outside the launch pad, so if we can actually keep that disabled, that would be very beneficial to us. We started the block... We started the launch pad on top of the alarm. That's a not a smart decision. We're wasting a lot of ammo against something that's not anti-tank, or against a tank. We're not defending the north side of the launch pad either, I'm noticing. Tank's not approaching closer, so I'm not going to shoot it. But it looks like we are going to kill it. The emplacement's up, so that's good.
like we defended it. I'm gonna take ammo just because we're gonna leave it here anyway. We're not coming back. We do have to keep moving. I don't think he's still noticing that. Okay, he reloaded me. have to reload him. He's out of he's out of uh, rockets in his commando. All he has to do is take it out. I can reload you. It's not taking out his commando. You can see it's red. He needs to be reloaded. Can you take out your commando? Okay, so he's not taking out his commando. Keep pressing A, waiting for him to take out his commando, but he's not doing it. I don't think he's aware of the items that he has, or... Okay, now he's reloaded. I don't know why he's not shooting. I think he's trying to reload it. That was bad. I think he's trying to reload it, but doesn't know that he's reloaded. I don't think he's aware of the equipment he has. Shot too close there. making a lot of mistakes. I don't even know why we... why we stopped here. Or, like, why we're struggling. I think it's because there was a tank here, I guess? We should really keep moving. We've been here for so long. Traction is top left. I feel like the uh, the railgun and the double freedom here are poor picks, considering the difficulty we're on. I couldn't shoot that patrol because that was in our way or my way, right in my line of fire. Stand by. Equipment on its way. Line is dropping. Equipment. Line incoming. A lot of ammo being called in. That Bastion's gonna die. Always stare at your character and people are coming back into the game again. Trying to get my real cannon turret back up again. I should have called it in earlier. I think I made a slight mistake in hesitating. So 
at that last part there, I'm glad that happened. With that commando, it actually holds eight shots when it's completely maxed out. I'm actually going to have to, um, wait a sec, eight shots for the commando. Um, so with the commando, there's eight shots. So to do like an assisted reload, to reload someone, or even to reload yourself after one or two shots would be incredibly inefficient. So if you are someone doing an assisted reload, um, you would wait until the other player shoots eight times, uh, assuming the commando's maxed out, if you have a uh, level three commando. You would let the commando shoot eight times, and then you would reload it. So one rocket from your support kit is essentially eight rockets for the commando. So after the player shoots eight shots, you would then reload them for maximum efficiency. I'm gonna go back to my ship real quick. So I had in my backpack, no, I shouldn't say that, my support kit, I think I had like five rockets at the time. So eight times five would be 40 shots. So the commando could actually shoot 40 times. So I was just waiting for the player to shoot eight times. And then I would do the assisted reload by hitting A on my controller. I don't know what it is on the keyboard. So I would use one rocket on the commando. They would shoot eight more times again. So it kind of looked like they were just able to keep shooting the commando. Um, and they can, as long as I keep feeding them rockets. Um, but they, they shot a lot out of that commando. They did a lot of damage. Uh, so what I would have to do as an assisted reloader is I would have to um, reload everything out of the support kit that I had. So, they, so at most they could shoot 48 times. Six times eight is 48. And then after putting in the final rocket from the support kit, I would grab another ammo box, get six rockets, which is essentially another 48 shots for the commando. And you could actually have someone um, using the commando shooting many times and doing a lot of damage. So that's kind of neat with assisted reload. It's something you could do. Um, and then, of course, with the recoilless rifle, it's just one shot. But that one shot, uh, especially when it's fully upgraded, that one shot ignores armor. And it does extremely high damage. So, uh, so they're just two different items that, that use the assisted reload mechanic. Uh, you can reload yourself, but it takes about five seconds. Uh, and then if you have someone else reloading for you, someone else wearing the support kit, not you, um, then uh, a, re a reload can take one second. So, But you should really practice both, because assisted reloads and higher levels is really kind of how you win, in my opinion. Um, you need to bring anti-tank in the higher levels against the bugs and against the cyborgs, but not the illuminates. The illuminates don't really have tanks. They have some high hit point uh, units like the council members or the illusionists. Uh, the council members being the red guys that have like the very large AOE that, that uh, inverts your directional pad. Um, and the illusionists are the blue versions of the red guys. But uh, I wouldn't bring anything with, ass with assisted reload to uh, the illuminates, only because they restrict your movement and it takes two people to do the assisted reload. So uh, for that type of coordination to happen with the illuminates, it doesn't really make sense. And, and plus, again, you're not really fighting anything that's a tank. It's, you're not fighting anything that uh, is invulnerable to small arms fire like rifles or anything else like that, so I wouldn't recommend it. But against the bugs and higher difficulties and the cyborgs, uh, assisted reload is, is really how you do it, in my opinion. You need to bring anti-tank assisted reloads. It just makes everything so amazing. Um, so try it out. Find someone to try it out with. And, uh, and learn it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.